colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about FIFA suspending Kenya and Zimbabwe Federation. Let me show you this clip, we'll come back and discuss. FIFA has suspended the Zimbabwean and Kenyan football federations over what it termed as government interference. Both countries have taken action against their football associations. FIFA President Gian Infantino elaborated on the reasons for the suspensions. We had uh, to suspend two of our member associations, Kenya and Zimbabwe, both for government interference in the activities of uh, the football association. So these associations are suspended from all footballing activities with immediate effect. And uh, uh, they know what needs to be done for them to be readmitted um, or for the suspension to be lifted. Kenyans and Zimbabweans are not happy about this and rightfully so. They are angry at their governments and they're actually accusing um, their own governments from what I've gathered and what I've seen. And it looks like even the governments are taking actions. For example, Kenyan government took uh, the Kenyan that was involved in corruption to court. Last November, Kenya disbanded its football association and charged its boss, Nick Mwendwa, with corruption. So now it's up to the government uh, of Kenya and Zimbabwe to um, let FIFA know that whatever was happening with corruption and the government's involvement, they will drop it and um, they will comply with the rules and regulations of FIFA. They haven't done it as of yet and that's why I said Kenyans and Zimbabweans from what I've heard are really angry at their governments because they would want their football teams to go out there and play especially for the World Cup. So the people are waiting on a response so that FIFA can allow their athletes to play. But so far no apologies so FIFA is moving forward with their disqualification of the Kenyan and Zimbabwean federations. Let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I'm Angel Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.